So if you tell La Louise, gives you, um, in Brussels, gives you a wonderful feeling from the minute you walk in. Check out the chandelier, it's gorgeous, um, in uh, hues of burgundy. And then the walls, those are 3D walls that resemble um, lace. And it's just a very unique type of entrance. So you come um, with an escalator from the street, because it's not at street level. And then as you um, enter, by the way, uh, the escalators are moving, but for energy saving purposes, they only move when people are on them. So uh, when they, so they're, they have motion detectors. Now, um, the lobby is very nice, very um, almost, uh, you could say, Alice in Wonderland nice. Um, they receive their guests on Fridays with a bit of champagne to start the weekend and then they have beautiful seating which is customized in pinks and purples and silver big chairs and this is a theme throughout the hotel and it's a really nice feel to the hotel they have an inside area which you're looking at right now that's um, velvet purple velvet check out the very interesting um, flower arrangements and then they have an outdoor area which oh, we will see in a minute they also have and this is very nice uh, very refreshing they have different water infused um, drinks that you can actually try uh, citrus and anise um, citrus and licorice or citrus and cardamom my favorite is the um, citrus and cardamom very nice, um, not very strong feel to them. And as you walk, uh, they have conference rooms. Everything is different, elegant with a, an Art Deco twist. Um, interesting mirrors that are not set on walls. They're actually standing mirrors, as you can see. And with lighting in the back, which gives them a glow. Uh, beautiful flooring, uh, beautiful floral arrangements, and chairs. The, just the magnitude of the chairs, either very small chairs or very large chairs. So, like I said, uh, almost a Alice in Wonderland effect. They have a contract with the local gallery to display different works of art. So this is one of them, uh, Bernard Press, um, and it's from the Hazel Gallery. So. Uh, somebody was explaining that um, they have this arrangement and they um, display their art. And this is the lobby area, the entrance with chandeliers that match the big chandelier and the um, entrance as you come in. And then they also have an outdoor area. And the outdoor area, it's a beautiful terrace that people enjoy when it is sunny in Brussels. Not every day, but when it is, it's really pleasant to sit. And this is the sunny Brussels. You could sit and um, just read a book, have a drink, um, enjoy. I love the globe fountain here. Again, reminds me of Alice in Wonderland. Uh, nice chairs, nice areas, a uh, shaded place. You could sit and eat, have a drink. Um, enjoy chat or you can just kind of fall asleep in that you know chair out there so that's um, their dining terrace beautiful church right next door and see the food here the famous Belgian frites and then they also have an indoor beautiful restaurant again the theme is carried into the restaurant and I'm going to show you the restaurant. We're going inside the restaurant here. Very family friendly. Um, uh, pro basically a place, property. This is the uh, place that you can smoke, I guess, or buy, at least they have a humidor, you can buy cigars. This is their bar area beautifully lit, elegant, um, 
dark woods and uh, the furniture is dark. Um, Art Nouveau with a modern twist, browns, uh, silver leather throughout and this, this um, pink burgundy type of velvet color, um, velvet pieces and velvet colors. So you sit here and you will see more of the art here as we go on the walls um, from that gallery. See, even Mickey is here. You never know where to see Mickey. There you go. A, you could call it a decomposed Mickey, I guess. And um, more seating here. So lovely place. This is cold and, and check out the sofa. This is an amazing sofa in like silver leatherette or um, with the tiny chairs. The effect is huge tall sofa with small chairs. Very interesting. Told you, Alice in Wonderland. Anyway, this is uh, the restaurant here and we're back to the most beautiful chandelier and the lace wall, which it gives the hotel entrance a, a very elegant feel but very interesting modern twist. This is Marguerite Frankis at the Sofitel Brussels, La Louise. And we are in the um, Sofitel Brussels, and uh, this is our room. It's a deluxe room. Uh, this is for um, two people, but they do have rooms that can accommodate an extra bed. I just want to show you first the entrance because this is really really cute I liked it see there is like a little uh, the lamp resembles like a little icicle now nothing in this hotel is what it seems it's like coming into Alice in Wonderland and wondering how it's gonna surprise you so let's see how this room surprises us it's functional it's elegant and there's something whimsical too First of all, uh, the Sofitel is very much into conservation, so you've got to put your key in. Um, and that is something that is, um, you know, a very good idea. Uh, not your regular um, piece of paper that goes flying. This is actually made out of plastic, the Do Not Disturb sign, and it's very sturdy. I like that. I always have a problem with finding the Do Not Disturb and where it's, it's somewhere on the floor. Okay, um, a place to plug in even here, which is interesting, and of course the controls. The bathroom, minimalistic but elegant. I like it because, first of all, there's a door that you can open and close, and it's a pocket door, which is nice. And then the bath, uh, bathroom and, of course, um, a bath robe. And then they have the shower, and this is very, very nice. Um, no glass door to come and bang into or anything. Nice flooring, nice tan flooring. Um, Handheld uh, shower head, which is always nice. And, well, they can't be shabby. The Hermes um, amenity kit. So this is very stylish, elegant, and very well done. And this is the sink, and um, you, ha you get slippers, and you get um, very thick, fluffy towels. And you have controls here for um, the um, music or TV. And of course, a uh, lip mirror. And this is interesting because you have a little window that you can open or close to the room. This comes in handy, especially for um, families if you want to kind of peek to see what your kid is doing. So just make sure that, you know, they're not doing anything out of the extraordinary, you, you're good. Now this is their closet, a uh, very spacious closet, very spacious, another robe in here. And then on this side, I like the use of pocket doors, it really helps. Um, dark brown, uh, melamine look, um, but I mean it's wood um, pocket doors. But I like it, it's kind of a like a 60s feel, but it's a little bit retro and it's a very modern. Think Alice in Wonderland and some W hotels. And they give you a kit for uh, shoes and they give you slippers of course and you give uh, you get a lot of storage room I mean a lot 
Now, the colors here are um, browns, grays, and purples. Not really my favorite colors, but they really go nicely here. And with a blend of really light white and tan, some black and white, and some very pale gray-green and tan. Interesting combination of colors. Would have never really thought of that myself but they really work beautifully. There's a nice, elegant feel in, in this room. Uh, this is the window and you could peek in. Let me open the window from the other side so you can see how you can peek in. Coming around and you can peek in to the bathroom. Um, I forgot to mention that there is um, an area here, um, a chest of drawers, so if you need anything you can put it there. And then over here, you have a coffee pot, coffee maker, a mini Nespresso, um, and of course, some beverages, and um, the safe. And I like it because it's large and with um, a place to plug in stuff, which is important if you want to, you know, recharge your electronics. And it's you don't have to scoot and, and be on your knees so um, while you're at it. So nice, very well placed and plenty of space. Now coming to the room itself, um, nightstand, functional, nice, Bose um, music um, player, um, little night lights on both, very, very functional and, you know, movable, and plus a um, little lamp. And I like the way that they conserve uh, the electricity and, I mean, these are special bulbs. Um, their walls are nice texturized, um, I think it's wallpaper, but very interesting texture to them uh, in a light um, white, off-white, and uh, a kind of a tan, ecru kind of color, and use of metallics, which is very interesting. Well, I mean, the pillows, I don't even have to mention, they add the whimsy type of um, feel to the room. And plug-in spaces, you have underneath the nightstand uh, three place, uh, two places, actually three if you count the lamp, with a functional phone, purple seat, but it looks like something my kid would jump like right in, and um, a side lamp. And then turning the camera around, you have a desk with a chair, again, use of purples, Check out the lamp. You see, very 60s, funky kind of modern atmosphere. So very unexpected. You have all these little touches that are unexpected. And, and yet they work together beautifully and, and they, are, uh, they give you the sense of elegance that you go, wow. And the TV moves, which is a really nice thing. And let me show you what it looks like to look outside. There's a beautiful church outside. You see the city of Brussels in the background. And you get to see, oh, that is the Ministry of Justice, the one with the Golden Cape, and or Palais de Justice. And um, you see there they have their own yard, which is very nice, a fun place to sit. Today is a very sunny day. Uh, in Brussels and it's very pleasant when that happens. Um, usually it does rain even in the summer. Double curtain which is great because you don't get disturbed and it blocks the light beautifully. And that's about it. Very nice, very comfortable chair uh, to sit in. It sounds like a great, uh, it looks like a great bed and in general nice modern great feel to this hotel. So and conservation. So they're big on conservation um, and yet they manage to give you this this vibe of elegance, luxury and personalized feel. This is Marguerite Frankes for Autistic Globetrotting and, um, and and by the way I forgot to mention this which is you know um, you can do the um, temperature in the room you can put it up or down clearly. So anyway this is um, my room for tonight at the Sofitel Brussels. Great room, great feel. The staff is incredible. And I hope that you get to come and check it out. It is wonderful for families, um, nice area of Brussels, and um, ho hopefully you can come and try it as well. 
This is Marguerite Frankis. And one of the room. things that I found very interesting at the Sofitel is is the little touches that they give and the attention they give to travelers, which is a great thing. So, for example, this just came. Uh, they were very nice and gracious, and they treated me as a VIP um, traveler, and um, so I'm very grateful. This came to my door. So this is um, with a little note here. And this, I'm reading, the peach is an edible fruit from the peach tree, and um, it has, the domestication started in China. Then the peach was imported to India and the East, uh, Near East. Alexander the Great brought it to Europe. And basically, it was the preferred fruit of um, Louis XIV. Now, energetical values with 40 uh, calories per uh, 100 gram. The peach has energy intake uh, moderate, which does not provide more than 56 calories. It's refreshing, moisturizing. And then it contributes, um, it, moreover, it contributes to um, body demineralization. It's very rich in potassium and magnesium. And they go on to tell me about the vitamin C and the more that the peach is colored, the more it contains some pigments around the stone. And um, they, they basically, it, it contributes to the efficiency of the cardiovascular system. And last but not least, did you know it is dangerous to consume the almond stone in huge quantities because it has hydrogen cyanide. Um, nevertheless, you can make some desserts, drinks, and liqueurs with the almonds, um, usually mixed with apricots, and it's called bitter almonds. So what they sent here is a smoothie, an apricot smoothie, um, and a um, jam, two waters, um, the ones with, with fizz, without fizz, and of course, it's... Brussels, so of course they send macaroons as well. Uh, one pistachio, one chocolate. So here it is, a, a little VIP kit, um, room service. Um, they just, you know, knocked on my door. This are these are the little touches that make this hotel very, very and special. And this hotel never ceases to amaze me in in the degree that they just go out and help people. I called, um, I got my wake up call, it's four o'clock in the morning, and uh, I just asked if they, they had some coffee, anything. And this is what they brought up. Uh, fruit salad, cut up fruit, donut, macaroons of course, yogurt, um, peach, coffee. This is just expect the unexpected at the Sofitel uh, Brussels, but in a splendid way, in a wow way.